In this lesson of my simplified React course, we'll be looking at the concept of conditional rendering. This is a concept in React that allows you to conditionally render certain elements or components. And they can be very useful because you could choose to display different elements based on different conditions. Anyways, let's look at some examples. First thing first, npm run dev to run our local development server. This is the project from our previous lessons. So if you haven't seen the previous lessons yet, you definitely want to check it out to see how we arrived here. Now, you know in Java, script you have your if statement right you could do if you have a condition and then if that condition is true you run something here and if the condition is false then you can run another thing here and in some cases you can even have else if where you run another thing but then else is like the default we're gonna apply the same concept to your components so that you tell react what to render based on the condition that you specify so for example in this app component here this is where we rendered main and rendered everything up to this point but we can add a condition let's say we have a variable called show pricing cards and let's say this is false now we can come here below and then we can say if show pricing cards is equal to false you can do it like this or you can use the not operator to do this here so if show pricing cards is false what you want to return is all of this so here we return the main the div h1 p p div and the other things but we are not returning the pricing cards so we have this if block here once you use return you are going to return out of this app function so react would not return this other one here where we have our pricing cards so you see here that we have done a simple conditional rendering but now if we go back to the top and we change pricing cards to true this condition is going to be false so react is going to skip this block and then head to this other block and return what we have here and now you see our cards are now showing let me go back and change that to false again if we should also inspect the dom to see what it renders if you go to body go to div id of root if you come to main and you come to div you see our h1 you see our p but then you don't see the pricing cards but then if we go to true you see the dom is now going to contain our pricing cards which is this div here and here we have our different pricing cards so this is a simple example with if statement but one thing you notice here is that we repeated all of this which is exactly what we have here we have the main the main we have the div with the class name of styles bg we have it here we have this h1 we choose your plan we also have it here so we repeated ourselves mostly the only part that we didn't repeat is this part here so instead of repeating ourselves like this what we can use is the conditional operator in javascript the conditional operator looks like this you have your condition then you have your question mark and then if the condition is true you return the first operand then you have your colon in the case that the condition is false you return your second operand now with this concept we can apply it to our component also so i'm going to remove all of this here so here where we have return we have main div h1 and all this other stuff here now coming to this part here which is the pricing card we can come here and because we want to use a conditional operator for a conditional expression we have to use our curly brackets again now in this curly brackets we're going to say show pricing cards question mark so if show pricing in cards is true we're going to return first but if it is not true then we're going to return second now what is first going to be all of these cards here so i'm going to cut it and come to this first here and paste it there and then what is second going to be you can return null which is nothing or we can even return a p tag that says nothing just to show you how it looks here this is our conditional expression show pricing cards if it is true return all of this which contains the pricing card but if it is false return this p here that says nothing now in this case show pricing card is true so it returns this this, but now if I change it to false and we come here now where is the nothing text or oh, the nothing text is here but it is it is white <laughs> let me change the color I'll just create a random class here called nothing color black font size 4m text align center and then we can come here and for our p we can have class name styles dot nothing so you see here we have nothing because this part is rendered as our condition is false but if I come back here and I make the 
condition true here we now have our cards rendered now by using the conditional operator you can see that we didn't have to repeat ourselves in all these cases right we only used the conditional expression for the specific part that we want to use it for or maybe you want to return null because you don't want anything rendered so if i go back here and i go to false if we should inspect you're not going to see null in the dom we have this div we have this p you can see that we don't have any null or any elements here by the way i have a detailed video on the conditional operator in javascript i'll link it below you can check it out now here we're using the conditional operator and we're using null in this case because we don't want to render anything but another way you can approach this conditional rendering is by using the and operator and and so with the and operator we don't need this part here let me cut this out first so with the and operator you have your condition then you have something so what this is going to do is that if show pricing cards is true something is going to be returned and since something is gsx is going to be rendered but if show pricing cards is false what is going to be evaluated here is false and when react sees false like this or it sees true like this it doesn't render anything well let's check it out so let me go back to what we had before so here we have show pricing cards then we render this so if i come back here now and i put show pricing cards to true we now have this card here but now let's say we make show pricing cards false because show pricing cards is false the way the and operator works is that it is now going to return false here but then if we should inspect again and we come to check you see in main we have this div h1p and we don't have any false anywhere here so you can use the and operator like this when you don't want to render something else if false let's take this back to true a good place we can apply this concept of conditional rendering is in the pricing card so if you remember while we're building this pricing card component this component receives a duration prop which by default is an empty string and then coming down to this point we rendered the duration now when you go to app.gsx this first card doesn't have a duration this second card has a duration per year here which is what you see what the per year isn't even here i must have missed this as we were building this oh yeah i missed it here we're supposed to pass the duration i think this is the one thing that we missed while building our project so like i was saying this first card doesn't have duration this second card has duration and this third card doesn't have duration now in this pricing card component for the first and the third card duration is going to be an empty string and now if we should inspect this you see that with the second card here we have this span with $49 and then we have this span with per year but then if we come to this first card and we inspect it you see we have this span that has free but then we have this second span which is empty because it doesn't have duration and duration is an empty string by default same thing with this third card if we should inspect it you see we have $99 here but we have this empty span tag now what we can do is that instead of having an empty span tag we can conditionally render the span tag if there is a duration coming to this duration part we can use the conditional operator if the duration is an empty string return null but if it is not an empty string then we are going to put this span here now with this conditional rendering this is only going to render this part if duration is not an empty string if we inspect on free you see we have free but we don't have the second span that was initially empty if we inspect this part here you see we have $49 and then we have this second span that has per year and that's because the duration is not an empty string if we come to this third card you see again we have 99 dollars but we don't have the other span that has duration now let's say i come to this third card here and I now add a duration in that duration let's say per month now you are going to see that this one now has an extra span because we now have a duration which is passed to the pricing card component but let me remove this per month we can even improve this further to say duration does not need to be an empty string if duration is not specified it is going to be null and now i can improve this section to just use the and operator so here i can say if there is duration then the and operator render this but if there is no duration which means duration is null it is a falsy value continue with the other things so this is the idea of conditional rendering and as you 
build your application, build your React components, a lot of times you are going to use this. For example, you have a header that says log in, but then when somebody is already logged in, you don't want to show log in. You would want to show something like my profile or you want to show something like dashboard. So in those cases, you would conditionally render the dashboard link if the user is authenticated and if the user is not authenticated, you show login. And that's it for this lesson. I hope the concept of conditional rendering now makes sense to you. But moving on in this course, in the next lesson, we're going to be talking about the concept of prop types.